subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the latest updates. So people out there, this is me Asis Johan from Astro Creation. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, today in this video, we are going to create a very unique photo manipulation like a very moody Instagram trending photograph photo manipulation. Well, if you still haven't subscribed to the channel, then do subscribe and press the like button. If you haven't pressed the like button, then so that it will motivate me to make more videos like this. And if you still haven't logged on to our website, then do visit our website www.astrocreation.com. Well, let's jump to the Photoshop. Open the photo which you want to edit. Now, <coughs> click on this quick selection tool and click on this plus icon and just roll all over the body of the subject to make the selection. Now, just right click on it and just select layer via copy option or directly press Ctrl J from the keyboard to make the selection. Here we have made a duplication of the image. Now go to the file, click on open and just select the background which you want to add in this photograph. So let's select one of the background. Now all you have to do is just drag it and drop over this tab. Or you can press Ctrl A, Ctrl C and Ctrl V to copy. <coughs> now press Ctrl D to make the transformation. Let's transform the image. Just adjust in whatever you know, whichever direction you want to add, you can add it. Just adjust it in your way. And just press enter. Now, if you now let's uh, make uh, hair more dark, so you'll select the uh, burn tool from here and just paint on the hair's edge just like this yeah. make sure the opacity or the exposure is 100% or you can just create new layer and create a clipping mask from here select the brush tool and just pick the black color from here by pressing alt key and just paint on the edge Just like this. Huh? And here we have almost completed our dark darkening of the hairs. Now just merge both the layers. Right click on it and select merge layers. And now all you have to do is we want to increase the size of the hair. So we will go to the filter, select liquify from here. And just enlarge the size of the hairs or the volume of the hairs to upward so let's select this first uh, forward wrap tool increase the size of the brush from here and just uh, press a little bit to the upward direction just like this yeah? and just you can see the preview before and after press ok now all you have to do is just uh, blur the edge of the subject which we usually do in every kind of photo editing. So select the blur tool from here because it is very very important in the photo editing so that uh, it will not look like we have edited the photo. So let's just blur the edge of the subject like this way you have to keenly add the subject blur the edge of the subject from every side of the image make sure that nothing is remaining to blur just blur it from every side of the image So in the pants area also you have to add blur the edges. Okay. 
also on the face area also you have to blur that and the ear portion and every kind of uh, you know area you have to blur it anyhow so finally here we have almost completed our blurring process Also on the boots. And finally, we here we have completed the blurring process. Now let's uh, select this background and just click on this uh, lasso tool and select only this much of the background. Press light click on and select layer by copy and just uh, move this layer to the above layer. Select the mask tool from here and click on this mask button. Select brush, brush tool from here and make sure you have selected the black color in the foreground and just paint to erase the unwanted area which you don't want in your image you can just erase it from here just like this you have to blur the edge of the now just uh, go to the hue and saturation from the adjustment and click on this clipping mask and just decrease the opacity so that it will turn yellow to appear white. You can increase a little bit of lightness if you want. Only a little bit of would be perfect. And that's it. Here you can see the before and after. yellow turn to uh, pure white and gray so let's uh, blur this also just merge both the layers right click on it and select merge layer now click on this uh, blur tool and just blur the blur the shadows which we have That's it. Here we have almost completed our editing. Now, if the final thing is to you know give the image a final cropping, so I'll select the crop tool from here and just increase the size of the image. You know, in whatever you want, you can increase the size up to how much long you want. Let's uh, give this much of the final touch and just press enter if you want this in your final image you can just press enter and that's it now let's uh, add some bad uh, snow to the photograph so I will select the uh, snow image falling snow and just drag it and drop over here go to the edit select free transform enlarge the size of the subject or the image just rotate it and just place in the direction whichever you want change the blending mode to screen so here finally you can see it seems like here the snow is falling down so you can see clearly how it is actually looking like you want to remove this unwanted particles of snow you can remove it by selecting the eraser tool just erase it from here the bigger particle you can remove and also if you want to remove it you can remove from the face of the subject now all you gonna do is just uh, now you have to add some loot to the photograph effect yes we have to add the effect to the photograph so we'll just go to the color lookup from here and just uh, select the loot whichever you want to add you can add it 
let's see I want to add this loot to the photograph so let's uh, make sure to get the skin color so select the hue and saturation click on this uh, handy tool and select the red color from here or let it be just stay uh, whatever it is just make it all you need to do is just merge all the backgrounds from here right click on it and select merge layers now just press crop tool to crop it and just press enter now go to the filter then select camera filter from here and then we will add some vignette to the photographs so we will go to the effects tab and select uh, vignette so it will add some kind of vignette to the photograph and now let's turn the red color get the skin tone so we will just move the slider get a little bit of orange on the skin we can increase the luminosity and just the yellow that the yellow is color you can increase or decrease the saturation a little bit from here to get the perfect skin tone just adjust in your own method whichever is more suitable you can do it now let's uh, select this red color and slightly just to make it a red if you want yes this one red would be more perfect I think can increase the lightness if you want to increase and also the saturation from here yes. now let's add just to some yellowish portion from here increase the luminosity a bit so finally here we have almost achieved our skin tone on the photograph now let's add just some photo yeah for a teal color or else if you want this color you can keep it increase the color of the blue Increase the luminosity if you want to increase, or else it would be more okay. So, finally, here we have achieved our skin color and every kind of red color and teal color. Just press OK, and that's it. So, here we have completed our moody tone photograph, a very unique concept, a very trendy moody Instagram photo. Here you can see the before and after effect. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed, then press the like button and subscribe the channel if you haven't, and press the bell icon so that you will notified whenever I post new video. And log on to our website that is www.ashvigrations.com. From there you can find new background, PNG, color lookup, and every kind of stuff for free. Well, thank you for watching. Bye bye till the next video.